Once again, the Devils are dancing in March, and this season's squad is looking to continue its already memorable run. This team this year has accomplished uh, more than any team I've ever had at ASU. To go 16-2 and two in the number one RPI conference in the nation, we've never done that before. The NCAA selection committee announced on Monday that Arizona State women's basketball earned a two seed, the highest ever in school history. I think we were just a little shocked to get a two seed. You know, we really thought we were going to get a three seed, maybe a four seed, but just because how we finished Pac-12, we weren't expecting a two seed. So we were surprised but excited. ASU will be at home the first and second rounds this weekend as their Wells Fargo Arena is one of 16 sites across the country that will host games. The Sun Devils' first test comes Friday afternoon when they face 15 seed New Mexico State. That game will tip off after the contest between 10 seed Wisconsin Green Bay and 7 seed Tennessee, which will start at 2 p.m. The winners from both games meet for the last time in Tempe on Sunday, and the winner of that will be headed to the Sweet 16. There's always adjustments you can make, you know, from last year to this year. So just being focused, you know, focus on every possession in that game. Don't look ahead. Every team's good in March. So just don't take anything for granted and you know, just take care of the ball. This season is ASU's third consecutive tournament appearance, and they've advanced farther and farther each time. Last year, ASU lost by only one point to Florida State in the Sweet 16. And before that, they lost in the second round to Notre Dame. They can put numbers wherever, as all I know is we got a really stacked region. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be really hard, and we're going to have to play some great basketball to advance to Sioux Falls. In Tempe, I'm Lucas Robbins, Cronkite News.